Interpreting predictions of ML model has become of prime importance these days. Simply predicting the target class or value is not enough. You should be able to explain why your model is making the specific prediction, which features are contributing to it. This can give you more confidence on whether the model is using the right features to make prediction or not. When your model gets deployed in production, non-technical people will use it and they can ask you a question why the model is making specific prediction. To explain with simple example, let's say that you develop an ML model for approving or rejecting loan application at bank. The model can take features like applicant's age, salary, gender, education, etc. to predict loan status. Now when you are rejecting someone's loan, you should be able to tell due to which feature loan was rejected. So applicant can work towards improving it for approval next time. For example, applicant's salary can be in lower bracket for approval, age is high, education is less, etc. can be the reason behind rejection. So how can you do that? Well, there are many Python libraries out there that can help with interpreting prediction of ML model. And in today's video, I am going to discuss one such library named Lime. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have already launched Jupyter Notebook where I have kept the code for this tutorial. Now we will be using Lime to interpret prediction of ML model that is trained on tabular data. Now Lime can be used on other data sets as well for text and image data as well. And I will be creating more tutorial where I explain how to use Lime with text data and image data. Now for this tutorial, I have used scikit-learn to train our ML model. But Lime is not dependent on any library, ML library. We can use Lime with other libraries like uh, XGBoost, Lime GBM, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, and so on. Whichever library you want to use, you can use it with Lime. So as you can see at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So we will be loading the data set, then we'll train ML model, make prediction, evaluate few ML metrics, and once that is done, then we will use Lime to interpret prediction of this ML model on individual example. Now in order to use Lime, you need to install it. So you can simply execute this command pip install su Lime into your command prompt or shell to install Lime. So let's move on and load our data set. So I have decided to use a wine data set for our tutorial and it is readily available from uh, scikit-learn. So let me execute this line of code to load the data set as a pandas data frame. So data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine. So these ingredients, alcohol, malic acid, etc. These are the features of our data set. And wine type, this is the target variable. And it has three values, 0, 1 and 2 for class 0 wine type, class 1 wine type and class 2 wine type. So this is the data set we will use for training our model. And after loading the data set, I have divided it into train and test set using train test split function from uh, scikit-learn. So I have kept 80% of the data for training and 20% of the data for test purpose. So next I have trained a random forest classifier on our train data set. So I have used a random forest classifier which is available from scikit-learn for this purpose. After training the model, I have made a prediction on test data set. So as you can see, these are the various predictions which are made. So next, I have evaluated various ML metrics on our test predictions. So let me execute this line of code. And as you can see, our model has 97% accuracy on test data set. Then I am displaying confusion metrics and then this classification report. So this can be good to take an overall look at the performance of our ML model and our model is doing good. So next, what we will do is that we will interpret the prediction of our model on individual example. So let's go ahead and see how each feature is contributing towards prediction. So in order to interpret prediction of ML model using line, we need to follow few steps. So first of all, what I have done over here is that I, I have imported line underscore tabular submodel from line. And then I have created an explainer object. So explainer object takes a few example as input. So I have given our train data set. Then we need to specify mode. 
which can be classification and regression. If it's classification, then we need to provide class names. So I have given over here wine.target names, which are list of classes. And I have also given feature name. So first of all, we need to create this uh, explainer object. So now that explainer object is uh, created, what I have done over here is that uh, I have created an uh, example from our test data set. So I have selected one example, which is example two. And as you can see, the actual label of that example is class zero and our model predicted class zero. So our model made right prediction. So let's uh, explain this prediction. So we will use explainer object and then we will call a method name explain instance on it and to it we will give the original uh, sample so x test of example or second example what are the features that will be given and second uh, parameter to this function is uh, another function which takes a list of features as input or list of uh, data examples as input and returns probabilities so this function will return three probabilities for each class in our case because we have uh, three different wine types so whatever function you design it should return list of probabilities for uh, each data example and then i have given labels parameter so labels parameter which labels you want to explain so in our case there are three labels zero one and two and i want to explain why taste of example so what is the actual label which is class zero so i wanted to explain that label but you can explain more than one label as well i will explain you so calling this method will return explanation object and once we have explanation object we can display it by calling this function show in notebook so let me do that and as you can see our model predicted with 94 percent accuracy that it's a class zero for five percent it thought that it's a class one and as you can see first of all probabilities are displayed then there is a bar chart which shows which feature are contributing positively towards prediction and which contributed negatively towards prediction and then there is a table so this table has actual values so the value of proline was uh, 1130 and this value is greater than 961.75 that's why this feature contributed towards uh, predicting this as class zero same goes for alcohol flavonoids and all other features and as you can see the alkalinity of uh, ash so this was uh, 20 this value was 20 and it contributed negatively towards predicting class zero so yeah that's the thing so next what i have explained over here is that so over here we only displayed one label which was the actual prediction or actual class next let's display the few more target classes so it might happen that you have uh, multiple target classes and you want to see first few probabilities top five probabilities or top three probabilities in our case there are three classes so i will display the first highest two probabilities right so as i executed this line of code so as you can see over here i am supposed to say example so let me execute it again and as you can see the model predicted that it's class zero so this uh, this various uh, features contributed positively to class zero and others negatively same for class one it's displaying so you over here as you can see was contributing positively towards predicting class one and the another uh, features as well so yeah if you want to see more than one top probabilities then you can use this uh, parameter name top labels and in our case as you can see the first probability was class 0 0 0.94 and the second was class 1 which was 0 0.05 next let's check the interpretation of line for wrong predictions so in our case as you can see for example number 17 our model is predicting wrong target label so let me execute this line of code so i have set wrong to 17 which is index of a 17th example so let me execute this line of code and as you can see the actual label was class 1 but our model predicted that it's a class 0 so in this case as you can see the probabilities are displayed so for class 0 it uh, predicted that it's a uh, 0.62% so 62% it's confident that it's class 0 and 38% confidence for class 1 
and over here we can see like uh, this particular features pro line was uh, greater than 961 revenue was greater than 2.88 and so on this contributed to this class being a class zero and over here alcohol was this in range u was uh, greater than 1.1 so this feature is contributed for it being a class one so this way you can also explore like uh, when your model is predicting wrong class and which features are contributing to that wrong prediction so you can explore that as well now in this section i will explain you a few other parameters and useful method of uh, explain instance and explanation object so in this case uh, i am again calling explain instance with our example and method and so on and there is a one useful parameter which is available as a part of uh, explain instance method which is num features so you can specify number of features that you want to display when you execute uh, this line of code so as you can see i have set num features to 5 by default it's a 10 so it will display you top 10 features which are contributing the most towards the prediction so in our case these are the top 5 features which are contributing modes towards the prediction so you can use number num features parameter to display number of features next uh, explanation object has uh, one useful method named s pi plot figure so till now all the examples displayed were using the javascript library of line but if you want uh, matplotlib uh, figure then you can use this uh, method name as pi plot figure so as you can see now it has returned a uh, pi plot or a matplotlib uh, figure so this uh, bar chart is now returned as a pi plot figure next another useful method is as list so if you want this uh, contributions as a list as you can see it can return as list so these are the labels and these are the future contributions so then you can use this list as you want if you want to create a visualization using other library then you can use as list there is also another uh, method name as map which uh, works almost like as list but it returns dictionary and at last if you want to save the output of uh, this prediction so over here we are displaying it in uh, jupyter notebook but let's say that you want to export this to html and want to display it somewhere else so for that you can use uh, this uh, function name as html and it will return explanation as a string you can save it to html file and then open it so let me execute it and show you and as you can see in this file uh, we have interpretation exported to html and you can explore it right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explained how you can use python library lime to interpret predictions of final model if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and yeah see you next time